All right, everybody, welcome back to There Will Be Trivia here on There Will Be Movies. I'm Henry Confidential. As you guys saw, um, some of you guys watched in the very first There Will Be Trivia mini. You guys saw kind of the approach that we're going to go with this uh, show. So going to have some fun here. It's round two. The first match is going to be Dustin versus Sandy. And Dustin and Sandy, you guys are here, gonna have some fun. Uh, Dustin, you're uh, you had some a pretty good matchup against Dan the first one. What are your thoughts against Sandy, and uh, what are your thoughts potentially if this is gonna be any harder or about the same? I think it's probably gonna be harder, and you never know. Uh, Sandy could win. I wish him a good game. He's a good player. There you go. And Sandy, I know, I know you just like to play, so I'm, you're glad to be here. Uh, what are your thoughts, and you think you uh, got a chance to take down Dustin? Okay, so here's the thing, and I'm going to ramble for a second here. I may seem happy-go-lucky during that very first match of any tournament because who the know, who knows what the hell can happen. It, you, you get blasted out by some lucky guy. The questions just don't work out. So I always show up to a tournament of some type, hopeful. <laughs> and and interesting but now i'm past that first round so now i've got to play against dustin and i've known dustin for a really long time he's a hell of a player uh was i praying with all that i could pray with that that dan was in here because i could spook dan a little bit and get inside his head um yeah but dustin made it so we're gonna have a good time today we're gonna try to answer some trivia questions and whichever one of us wins wins and i'm gonna be happy for both there we go. That's what I like to hear. So you guys know how it's going to go. Uh, one little quick switch up. After the experiment of the very first round, I didn't really like the plot summaries uh, quote section so much, so I just expanded the data to 10 and uh, plot plot uh, questions to 5. So <laughs> still going to have 15 monster. questions. Hey, I, I didn't want to I didn't want to take away your thing, man. I, I just want after re, after having to rewatch all four of those matches in editing, I was like, just not the same when I'm doing it when when Sandy's doing so. You can have it back. <laughs> so, damn it. Other than that, you guys know how it goes. You know, ten, 10 data questions, five plot base. Let's get started. Right. First question Who directed Thelma and Louise? Nice little director question. As I set up my notes for score. All right, five, four, three. Two, one, Dustin. Riddle me this, Ridley Scott. And Sandy? That's the right answer. I said uh, Barry Sonnefeld. Oh, Ridley Scott is correct. So Dustin will take a one lead right there. Whoa. Second question. Robert De Niro and Jean Reno star together in what 1998 action thriller? Tell him, Dustin. Get him. Right. Shh. Three, two, one. That was fun. Uh, Sandy. It's fucking really. I um. I said heat. And uh, Dustin. That's ninety-five, and it's Ronan. Yeah. That is. God, I'm starting Ronin. off awesome today. I mean. Don't worry. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back really good in the plot. Oh fuck. Third question. What 2013 movie stars Channing Tatum and Rooney Mara as husband and wife? You guys are going to see how quick 15 seconds goes, apparently. I'm going to have to switch that to 20. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Uh, Dustin. Side effects. All right, and Sandy? I have nothing. It was, in fact, side effects. Interesting uh, movie, to say the least, especially at this time. Who yeah. directed the horror film Mama? Here we go. 20 seconds is a little better. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Sandy? All I know is it came out recently. I said Jordan Peele. <laughs> his his rendition would be interesting. Uh, right? Listen. I don't think it was that recently. Wasn't it Andy Muschietti? 2013. 
So it was yeah. a bad game. Yeah. Was I right? Yeah, you were right. Andy Machine. No, okay. same, <laughs> same director as the It movies. Yeah. And Flash. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, coming up. Damn. Next question. Cody Smith McPhee and Chloe Grace Moret star together in what 2010 horror remake? I guess you guys can see what I was thinking about when I was, what I was doing when I was writing these questions. Can I get, get a repeat, please? What? Yeah. Cody Smith McPhee and Chloe Grace Moret star together in what 2010 horror remake? We'll just treat that as a uh, repeat, an actual repeat. And don't forget time extensions if you guys want. And you guys know how I roll. Don't abuse them and you can get, I wouldn't say as many as you want, but a lot. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dustin? This is uh, Let Me In. And Sandy? Um, I knew it was a horror remake, so I put The Hills Have Eyes. Hills Have Eyes is actually a good horror remake. I really like that movie. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, we can pretty much go with the assumption, Dustin, that you're right every time, and oh, okay. I'm going to be wrong. I'm not, so, I was uh, not right every time last match. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, number six is a character question. What is the name of Jamie Foxx's character's nickname in Baby Driver? Well, fucking hallelujah. Hey, you got an extra couple seconds. I forgot to press play on the timer. This timer is awesome. Well, we'll cut it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Sandy? Uh, no matter who's in it, I love this movie, and he's great as Bats. And Dustin? I also put Bats. Bats shit crazy. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next question. What year saw the release of the Lindsay Lohan starring Parent Trap? It's a movie that came out. Now, would I write this as Lindsay Lohan co-starring? Five, four, against herself. Three, two, one. Dustin? 1998. And Sandy? Shit, I'm going to be pissed. I said 1999. 1998 is correct. Oh, Dustin, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Marsha Gay Harden plays Mrs. Carr in what Stephen King adapted film? Oh, yeah. Had to bring your volume down a little bit, Dustin. Uh, three, two, and one. Uh, Sandy. I have no idea. I said Pet Cemetery. And Dustin says The Mist, which is correct. Oh, good God. Uh, your ninth question. Who won an acting Oscar for their role in Ghost? I have not seen this movie. I cannot vouch for it. It's okay. It's one of those, if you like that type of stuff, then you might like it. If not, then you won't. Who cares? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Sand or Dustin? I guess it doesn't matter. Whoopi Goldberg. And Sandy? The Whoopi. Whoopi, Whoopi. Final question in the data portion. Danny God. DeVito and Arnie work together in Twins and again in what 1994 comedy? <laughs> well, I'm glad it, you know Sandy's not having the best out of day, but I'm glad at least a couple of them is like, all right, I, I I know it. Let's find it. Dig deep into those recesses or whatever the the saying is. Oh, I didn't start the timer. Give me maybe ten seconds. Five, four, extension. Three, two, all right, extension. You guys see the timer on your guys' screen? Yep. Sweet. Maybe I should just stop doing five four so people don't have to hear my voice as often. 
but then it wouldn't be more oh, trivia. Five, four, God three, boy. two, one. No other extension. All right, Sandy, you didn't write anything down, did you? No, I didn't. All right, and Dustin? It's going to bug me now. Junior. Junior, that is correct. Junior is correct. Shit. All right, you guys know how we roll here at uh, There Will Be Trivia. We're going to finish out these questions because, you know, we wrote them and definitely want to get you guys as much practice as possible. Plot-based. What did the gang steal in the opening job of the remake of The Italian Job? One of these days, I'll get good at starting that timer. Hey, it's brand new. I like the concept. Yeah, give you a... I like it. Looks good. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Dustin? Gold. Okay, and Sandy? Gold! Correct. I like gold! That was a guess. Yeah, gold, gold bars. I would have accepted either. Yeah, gold bars. Because they were definitely bars, but gold is, you know, obviously gold. What specific car does Percival drive in Ready Player One? There you go, Sandy. Parzival. Yeah. You know. Uh, making sure you're paying attention. In, uh, in one of the matches in round one, I literally wrote Bojangles for... Uh, it's, green Mile. it's Mr. Jangles. Mr. Jing Mr. Mr. Jangles? Jingles? Jangles. My my dad always called him Bo Jangles and I just forgot. I don't even know who Bo Jangles is. Is that a clown? Five, four, three, two, one. Dustin. Was it the DeLorean from Back to the Future? And Sandy? It was the DeLorean from Back to the Future modified. <laughs> yeah. Oh, only we're only gonna accept modified for that one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Third question: What kind of business does Maggie Gyllenhaal own in Stranger Than Fiction? Delightful movie. Oh, I hope this is the right one I'm thinking about. I hope so too. I know you do. Five, four, three, extension, two. Extension. Give him, give, give him a little extension on this. I like the concept of the time extension. Can I sit in peace? Five, four, three. Give Sandy a chance to overthink it. Maybe change his answer last minute. And pen down, Dustin. What'd you get? Baker. Bakery coffee shop. All right, and Sandy? I said bookstore. Uh, it is a bakery. Shit. Bakery was correct. He can't accept bribes, so he couldn't take her uh, cookies. F uh, f um, fourth question and plot base. What is Pappas told to retrieve from the bottom of a pool in Point Break? I, uh, I love this movie. This is one of those movies. This isn't a bro movie. This is just a great movie. Three. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree. Two. One. Sandy? I said a dead body. Okay. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Dustin? I said a gun. Looking for bricks. 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 Yeah, all right. Gotta, gotta get me two. All right, your final question. How many of Ryan's brothers are killed in Saving Private Ryan? Damn it! <laughs> Gotta love that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dustin, what'd you get? Three brothers? All right, and Sandy? I said two, and he's the third. It is three brothers, and he's the fourth. Yes. That's 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 why they that's why they had to send the mission. You don't want to give your mother four flags. <laughs> All right, so 
It didn't quite go as Sandy would want it, but hey, like like what this whole design for is here to have fun and test your trivia. Uh, what are your what are your thoughts? There's a couple of those that you should have gotten, or whether it's all just not in your wheelhouse, and sometimes that's just how it rolls. That is somehow just how it rolls. Um, I'm, yep. you know, you know me. I'm not a huge horror guy, uh, yeah, so you know there was there's a, a decent amount of questions that were horror related. I have no clue. Um, I'm pissed off that I didn't get that Ronin question. Um, <laughs> 90s you know uh, badass De Niro is one of my favorite De Niro's so um but uh, you know what no Dustin just played better than me today I, I just uh, didn't have my head in the game and uh, you know what if I get a chance again I'll uh I'll put on a better show for you guys for sure not this what 20 to 2 or 3 that uh, that the score was just something <laughs> disgusting congratulations Dustin I can confirm it's 14-4, 14-4. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> Dustin, you had a pretty good oof. showing out here today. Uh, are you a big horror fan, or do you just happen to know the ones I were asked today? I just happen to be lucky with the questions. There's a couple that I straight up guessed on. Like, uh, there was just a couple that I definitely guessed on, definitely. Like, yeah, sometimes that, that's like like we said, that's just how it rolls. So uh, with that said, this was uh, Dustin versus Sandy in round two. Dustin's going to move on to the final, the very first. There will be trivia mini, and uh, we will be seeing Sandy in the future. Definitely can't wait for that. So here is match number two. All right, guys. The second matchup over here in round two, the semifinals of There Will Be Trivia Mini. You guys just finished watching uh, Dustin have Dustin have a really good match against Sandy. So the winner of this is going to be playing Dustin. And let's go right into it. All right, so we we got uh, Malcolm and we got Dominic. Uh, Malcolm, real quick, what are your thoughts on uh, your second matchup and your matchup against Dom? Um, I mean, Dom's one of those guys that let uh, – seen um a lot i don't think i've ever played him one on once again i don't think i've ever played him one on one in anything before so um it's gonna be a lot of fun i know he's re uh, really great and all that and i'm just looking to have fun yeah that, that i feel like that's the common theme here at uh there'll be trivia is doing matchups of people like that's what uh dustin and sandy just said is like i don't think we've played each other in singles outside of classic so <laughs> let's let's uh, let's mix it up here uh dom what are your thoughts on uh malcolm is is this yeah. going to be a cakewalk or you think malcolm's improved like a lot of people are saying yeah pretty much the same thoughts as malcolm which is like i'm actually surprised that we're actually playing each other and i'm happy to do it because i like playing new people and uh yeah i want to see that he's improved definitely and this match will determine that there we go that's all i see so you guys know the drill uh, 15 questions as as we as you guys learned in the the first match uh taking out plot summaries and quotes it's just going to be 10 data five plot based so um uh, let's go ahead and get started and don't forget you have a uh, time extensions if if you if you don't go overboard you can get as many as you want but if you start to uh go a little crazy then I'll set a limit so uh, first question who plays Donnie's teach English teacher in Donnie Darko? This is a movie that I uh, just rewatched and I really enjoy it. I was really happy about it. I guess I should have started the timer. So when it goes down to five, you guys will be done. 20 second timer on screen. Eventually I'll get used to that. Or if I ever get rich and I can hire someone to uh, produce my shows. And let's go to Malcolm. Uh, no idea. I just guessed Brian Cranston. Uh, he's played a teacher before. And Dom? I totally guessed the last minute, but yeah, it's Drew Barrymore. It is Drew Barrymore. That's correct. 1 0. Second question Who directed Horrible Bosses 2? This is a movie that uh not as good as the first one. Still funny though. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh Dust or uh Dom? <laughs> Sean Anders. And Malcolm, did you write anything down? I didn't get it. Yeah, I saw you didn't write anything down. Uh third question. Who directed Miller's Crossing? <laughs> Not much to say here without uh, giving anything away. Five, four, 
three. So I like the 20 second timer. You got 15 seconds to write and then five seconds to settle in and make sure you're sticking with it. Uh, Malcolm. I have not treat myself in the footy. I just, I put the Cohen brothers. And um, Joel and Ethan Cohen. So I did this in testing. Ethan uh, has a no. uncredited role, so I'm only accepting Joel. So neither of you. Got it. Damn. So. At least we both fell into that trap. Yeah. At least you feel a little bit better. I mean, they didn't. They didn't. Yeah, start I was. I was, until, I was right, Yeah. I think until right after Fargo. Fargo. I think technically Fargo, he wasn't even still. But anyway. The new thing is, I was almost going to write just Joel, and it's like, no, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> What athlete plays Mary's ex in There's Something About Mary? Malcolm's like, oh, sports, eh? Five, four, three, two, one. I didn't want to hint, like, oh, American sports, but yes, it is American sports. Malcolm. Brit Fav. And um, yeah, I didn't have it. I've never seen this movie. Oh, look at that! Malcolm's like, bam, take that. Who plays Johnny Depp's dad in Blow? When I found this out, I was like, oh, interesting. Once again, didn't forget. Remember the timer. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dominic? I total guess Christopher Walken. And Malcolm. I just ran really against Harvey Cartel. Uh, we were looking for a guy who is a good fella, Ray Liotta. Uh. You would say his dad is a good fella, am I right? Uh, next question. What rapper is best friends with Donnie in That's My Boy? those puzzled looks because it's one of those questions where it's not a trick question but it's a thinker and it when, once you hear it you're like i'm so mad at myself if i didn't get it or once it finally clicks in your brain like ha i like that that's written it's my goals as a writer my goal is also to figure out how to remember to do the timer five four three two and one Dominic? I put Lil Yachty, total guess. <laughs> and Malcolm? I put Jay-Z as a total guess. Looking for Ice Ice Baby, Vanilla Ice. Oh, of wow. course it is. It's always These vanilla. are all questions where I would be getting them if I'd actually seen the movies. <laughs> this is correct. Sometimes that's why we like to write those questions. Watch movies. Uh, next question. Who plays Denzel's girlfriend in Training Day? Girlfriend, babe, mama, maybe wife. It's kind of one of those things where he's like, he doesn't actually say. He doesn't want to put a label on it. You know, he doesn't want to be tied down, even though he's got a kid. Five, four, three, two, one. Malcolm? I've seen this, but don't remember. I just guessed Mr. Tomei. That'd be a good wife. And Dom? Eva Mendes. Eva Mendes is correct. Oh, God. Three, one. I forgot what scoring was like in this game. What year saw the release of the Bruce Willis classic, Hudson Hawk? Using the word classic loosely. I've not seen this movie, so I don't know. But on the internet, it's not a classic. Five, four, three, two... One. Dominic? 92. And Malcolm? I'm probably a year off, then I'll put 93. Dom was a year off, 91. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. It was between those two. Who directed both The Fugitive and Holes? <laughs> when I when I was I was I had actually uh, someone write this for me, and that was exactly my thing. I'm like, oh, on the tip of my tongue. If you guys are watching this 
uh, on the repeat, which it's not live, uh, comment below how many times I messed up the timer. Five, four, three, two, one. Dom? Andrew Davis. And Malcolm? I know I'm definitely wrong. I put Robert Zemeckis. Andrew Davis is correct. <laughs> yes. In my mind, I was like, Andrew, Andrew. I got Andrew really quick, and I couldn't remember Davis. Your final question in the data portion. Oh my God. <laughs> David Paymer was nominated for supporting actor in what Billy Crystal movie? Trust me, Malcolm, that was my face when this question was presented to me. But the reason behind writing this was interesting, so I said, sure, let's go with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Malcolm? Analyze this. And Dominic? Mr. Saturday Night. Mr. Saturday Night is correct. So initially, Dustin came up with this question. He was like, uh, what actor won or was nominated for supporting role in Mr. Saturday Night? And I was like, who the hell is that guy? He's like, he's a character actor. You know him from anywhere. I'm like, all right, let's restructure this question because it is interesting You know, when a character actor nice. gets nominated. That, so. that felt like a Dustin question. It, it definitely was. Uh, your first plot base and score is five to one. So, All right. what, what's the saying? Anything can happen. <laughs> what does James Franco say is the reason the car is dead in Pineapple Express? Looking for a specific answer here. I will accept one answer and one answer only. I'm hungry. Five, four, three, two, one. Malcolm? I'm pretty sure I want to put something about the battery being bye bye. All right. And Dominic? I put, because I'm trying to just mimic James Franco from that movie, the vibrator's dead. Looking for a talk radio. Talk radio killed it because talk radio was playing and it the car killed itself because talk radio of was Of course so it is. <laughs> Talk radio is pretty boring. What is the name of Connor Farrell's band in Pop Star? With this specific score, Malcolm would be very wanting my proposed idea of making uh, the plot based questions worth two points because then you have a chance for a swing. But. You both get equal chance at writing at answering them, so we're keeping that one for now. Five, four, three, two, and one. You didn't get anything, Malcolm? No. And Dominic? Damn, I'm off my game. I put the back and back boys, and I know that's wrong. Looking for the style boys. That's right. Oh, yep. <laughs> at least, at least, at least I got that reaction on that. Style boys. Okay. Third question in plot. What specifically? Are Velma and Roxy on death row for in Chicago? Once again, I'm looking for one answer and one answer only, specifically. So I'm not looking for a general crime here, specific. Five, four, three. Two and one. Dominic? Murdering Roxy's boss. And Malcolm. Well, I'm definitely wrong, but murdering your husbands. It is murdering their husbands. That is specifically oh. what I was looking for. Alright. So you were not way wrong, Malcolm. You're actually way right. Alright, so we're not gonna be able to tie it up, but we're gonna play out the questions anyway because that's how we roll. Practice is perfect. Where does Zuckerberg snobbishly say they could have seen the formula for Facebook if they were looking in the social network? During the disposition. I just didn't feel like having that in the question that's going to be written on screen. So during the disposition, where does Mark Zuckerberg snobbishly say they could have seen the formula for Facebook if they were looking? Five... Four, three, two, and one. 
Malcolm? I didn't get finished in time. I was going to put um, the he said on Facebook. And Dominic? I put in their notes. Looking for on his dorm room window. Dorm room window. If it was on my dorm room window, if you were looking, you would have seen it. All right, your final question. <laughs> this one's been a this one's been a rough one, but hey, sometimes that's how it goes. How was JoJo able to recognize his mother towards the end of the movie in JoJo's Rabbit? I wrote it this way to avoid spoilers, but if you know, you know exactly what I mean. Oh man, at least I got one question right this round. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are understanding of why I chose to write this question in this way. I feel uh, like it was specifically tailored to me. <laughs> I will I will tell you that in a second. Three, two, one. Malcolm. He recognizes his shoes. And Dominic. Yeah, I put her shoes. That is correct. So what I'm going to be doing in these is since I'm not – I don't want to uh, have a – Congratulations, Dominic. Going to be moving on to play Dustin. Uh, I don't want to uh, have, you know, study-based, you know, anything, but I am going to, in every match, specifically write one question for someone based on one of their five-star movies, essentially. And that, that uh, f social network was um, Dom's, which he got wrong. <laughs> Jojo yeah. Rabbit was Malcolm's. So, uh, Dominic, you're going to be moving on to play Dustin in the very first There Will Be Trivia mini championship. Uh, what are your, what are your right. thoughts on that? And what are your thoughts on how this match went? <laughs> Looking, uh, looking forward to what's next. Uh, let's face it, I only won because I got more round one questions right than Malcolm. Uh, this, this is not my best match. I hope this doesn't demonstrate why I haven't been playing as much this year. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing Dustin. It'll be a, it'll be a repeat of one of our, our first ever matches that we played. We haven't played one on one in since that match, I believe. <laughs> Malcolm, uh, like he said, he, he this was one just one of those ones that if you guys saw in Sandy in the part one that just you know didn't go your way. Uh, what are your thoughts? And uh, gonna see you in the future. I mean, I'm pretty sure in this one I got the same amount of questions wrong that I actually got right in my last match against Storm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so uh, 180. Uh, 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 yeah. But I mean, like as Tom said, this definitely was like this one wasn't indicative of our performances at all. Like we're we both much better than this. Absolutely, but it, so, it was uh, just a lot of fun. There you go. All right, guys. So with that said, I am Henry Confidential. This was the second uh, round of the There Will Be Trivia mini tournament. I appreciate you guys uh, watching this far into the video, and I appreciate you guys hitting those thumbs down buttons because, hey, interact engagement is engagement. So I love you too. Uh, can't wait to see the finals and what more we have store here. And there will be movies, there will be trivia, and anything to do from me, Henry Confidential. Bye, guys.